Hey, George. Good morning, everybody. So, welcome back to Life on Two. Prince here. Just uh, finished my walk with OG. I'm on my first cup of coffee. My girlfriend and I, we're gonna go take off and go get another cup of coffee and uh, maybe a donut, we'll see. Happy New Year's. It's finally 2021, which is uh, getting harder to say the more I say the year 2021. So I'm just gonna say 21, all right? Welcome to 21. 2020 sucked. We gotta make up for it. This is our better year. I'm very excited. This is my first video that I'm filming in the new year. It is the 2nd of January right now. So, whew, let me take a sip. Dear Lord, the stairs and all that talking. So, I'm gonna try to keep a month break or a month like gap in between when I'm filming these videos and when I'm editing these videos. So we'll see how this goes. But today, just gonna go head down. My girlfriend hasn't been on a ride in like four or five months. So I'm gonna go take her out on the bike. She hasn't been on this bike actually at all. So it's been a while since she actually has ridden, even maybe longer than that. And then I wanna talk to you guys today about a video, or I'm sorry, a, a cartoon movie that I just watched. It came out over the holidays by Disney and Pixar. I'm a big fan of Disney and Pixar films. And so it, this movie is called Soul. So today I'm just gonna be talking about that. Hopefully bring that film family element back to this channel for a little bit until we figure out what's up with that. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the road. Oh, keep joking. So full disclaimer, right? I love Disney Pixar movies. I feel like they, uh, they were really a big factor in my childhood, first of all. And they just, they know how to tell a story. Like, I would love to know who is on the storytelling team of Disney and Pixar, because even lately, their movies have dealt with such complicated issues with such grace and finesse that it is incredible. It is incredible. Um, I, can't, I believe Inside Out was another Disney Pixar movie, and that was just fantastic. So this movie, Soul, if you don't know about it, uh, I didn't know much about it. I just knew it was supposed to be uh, a animated film, you know, that was coming out in the holidays. It was supposed to promote black culture and the black community, um, similar to like The Princess and the Frog, but supposed to do so around music. So obviously, you know, there's two things right there that are very near and dear, close to my heart. And when I was watching this movie, I was just so moved by it. It was, it was amazing. You know, it was just so well done. And I wish it was a film that my dad could have seen because I think he really would have appreciated the story that it was telling, the artistic way in which it was told. I swear to you, halfway through the movie, I'm drinking my boba. I'm trying to get this last boba ball out of it. And I'm, I looked up my drink for one second. And the next thing you know, I look back at the screen and I thought I was watching a different movie. Uh, it's because the animation changes so quickly but in a good way. It's just, it's so well done of a movie. Um, I don't want, I'm not, this is not gonna be any spoilers, you know, so I, I want you guys to go watch it. I think it was fantastic, but it follows this musician and it's, you know, he's a music teacher, a band teacher at a middle school, not really where his career, where he wanted his career to be, but they touch on so many things about like, for example, going into this creative zone they call it jazz and because it's about jazz music and I really liked it. I just thought it was just so well done in the way they represented it. Um, it was just a fantastic movie, like a great film to watch. You know, I wanted to watch it with my little cousins, but I didn't, I wasn't able to. So I just said I wanted to watch it and I watched it. So glad I did. I actually watched it with my girl and she fell asleep, but that's okay. I got to watch such a great movie and they dealt with life and death pretty much and it's like I don't know yo it's just they like I said they're dealing with existential questions you know and these existential questions are very profound and it's one of those things where like you can't necessarily provide an answer but I think they provide like hope to an answer if that makes sense and oh, man I, I just can't say enough good things about this movie I'm really glad I watched it you know I think if there's one thing Disney knows how to do a hundred percent right I think that is generational uh, animated films like I feel like soul is gonna be one of those classics that I'm definitely gonna show my kids in the future you know and I just think it's it's such a great oh my goodness you guys are so baby like I got a downshift now to ah 
pull up. But I can't say enough good things about this, you know? Like, it was just, it, it hit close to the heart, you know? It's about uh, music, family, and kind of finding your tune. It was just, I mean, I'm not musical, so don't get that, you know, that mistake, mistaken. But it's, uh, it was such a good movie. It was such a good movie. And it just hit very close to home for me, you know? And I think it's, uh, I don't think if, you know, just because my family's in music, I think if it's about finding your passion, you know, and finding, they call it your spark, but like, just, there's so much to learn from children's movies, man, and they're just, this is beyond a children's movie. I highly encourage you watching it, especially, you know, if you're like me, recently graduated, trying to figure out what to do, you know, it's a good movie to watch. It's a very good movie to watch. It's just, like I said, really hit, really hits a home. So anyways, I'll give you a little bit of location about where we're at. We're going out to uh, Manhattan Beach because my girl hasn't been on the bike and this is a pretty easy ride to do. You know what I mean? Hi. She's just squeezing me. And uh, I really like this ride a lot. So we decided we'd go hit up a, a donut spot real quick, grab up some coffee. And uh, yeah. I think it'll be really nice. Wow, look at that out there. But man, I'm telling you, it was just... I, I'm still thinking about that movie Soul, yo. Still thinking about it. I really, really like the way they showed the zone. Now, I, there's so much in the zone that I want to talk about. So, I might do a, a part two of this later, a little bit more in depth. I'm going to watch it again, to make notes about what I really like about it. And that's going to be a spoiler one. But... I will just say in this one, the way they showed the zone, the, like the creative zone and how it's a good thing and has the potential to be a bad thing is just, just well done. You know, like I, I'm telling you, these people must be, I don't know if they're like behavioralists, psychologists, whatever they are, but this is, they know what they're right. They know what they're talking about. You know what I mean? I mean, I can't say that they know what they're talking about, but like, it's just, it's just so well done. This is one of my favorite movies, I think, of 2020. And there wasn't many that came out in 2020. They were getting close. Whoa. Whoa. That was a smooth. Molly doesn't know how to keep her neck straight, though. She keeps bumping helmets, eh? You like bumping my helmet? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Dang. That car is kind of high. Hello. Try to. <laughs> I think those old ladies thought we was, uh, or those elderly women, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I thought that they were, uh, or they thought that I was a hardcore biker. I think then they saw Molly and me and were like, hey, and they were like, oh, you guys be careful out there. Why wasn't people moving? I don't know. Oof. No. Yeah. I'm gonna put it right here, Molly. You wanna get off over here? Thank you. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Look at that parking job. I like that. Show us what you got, baby. We got the nitro. Yeah, you know, that's not a bad cold brew. I'm not mad at that. But it's all the donut. Open up the donuts, dang! Come on, but the donuts is what we're here for. All right, give us a nice little unveiling here. Okay, here we have. 
have the raspberry rosemary buttermilk. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, we're gonna cut it in half so we can sample. This one is the blueberry bourbon basil. She has a drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> and no, it's very pretty. That's why I like the colors that we got. So let me. Uh, I guess I'm just taking off a little chunk here. Uh, oh, it smells fantastic. Oh. <laughs> it smells nuts, right? I feel like I always choose the better one, by the way. <laughs> there I go. Let me try this bourbon. She got it because it had bourbon in it. Mm, not bad. It's pretty really good, though. But that's more of something that I would eat at a spa. You know what at I mean? At a spa? At a spa, yes. You don't agree with my spas? We gotta go to the spa. To eat a donut, yes we do. I always pick the best stuff. She doesn't. Now we get to watch these people, hopefully. Very pretty bike. Thank you, man. <laughs> How about the girls? <laughs> Doggy. Smart as dogs. You want me to eat that? We ended up switching donuts, apparently. <laughs> I guess I got the bourbon one now. You should just go with my gut instinct, you know? 